Hello. In our black communities, I don't like drugs, violence, none of that stuff in our black communities. It's not cool. It's not funny. Scam and all that. It's not cool, especially with me having a black brother growing up. It's not okay. And it's not okay for them to see that environment and think that it's flashy and nice because it's just a vicious cycle and it keeps getting repeated. And that's why all our black men are getting shot and killed by the police for no obvious apparent I reason. I said it was okay. Because people think it's cool. Who like, said it's cool? Oh, they can deal drugs. They can scam. They Who can... said it was okay to deal drugs and scam? Okay. Oh, I said it was okay. So I sound crazy. Who said you sound crazy? I mean, you're allowing it to go on in your community. I am allowed. Oh yeah, you I'm allowing you it. You see something reported? Did I see somebody dealing the scamming and doing drugs? You seen that man ask grandma if she got a needle? You see them trapping? I did not see doing... nobody ask grandma if they got a needle. Well, she told, told me when I came it. home. And you see, but my you see them trapping out the van. I didn't see nobody trapping out what? The abandoned apartment. I didn't see nobody trapping out no goddamn apartment. Stop making up shit. I didn't see nobody trapping out of okay, shit. But at the end of the day, I don't like how everyone has to. But I want to know why you sitting up here trying to blame me for shit. Ma, but you just said that you're not going to snitch. It's not snitching. No, I'm not going to sit up here in front of the police, in front of 50,000 people and be like, oh yeah, she did this and she did. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to go down and I'm going to report shit properly. Put it on a damn police report. I'm not going to stand out here in front of millions of goddamn people and point fingers when police ain't going to do shit about shit like that. That's not the way you do things. Own. Ain't nothing gonna happen like that. My voters are just What the hell wrong with you? Stay on the side like a little kid. Uh, and he took pulled my hair and she did. No one that's said not the way you, do, you do that. I'm just speaking on the fact that us as black people, we turn the cheek too much. That's I, all I'm saying. Okay. But you up here. Uh, I'm not saying to go outside and do that. I'm just saying that we are too nonchalant towards the subject matter and we turn the other cheek. Okay, what what you're trying to say is people need to come together as a community and stand up in the community and take back a community and come together is what you're trying to say. Not only that, but people are glorifying the lifestyle and not okay, not you specifically, but they just think because it's ain't their business, they just gonna turn around like and not worry about it. I mean that's fine and dandy, but that's why next thing you know, all your sons is in jail. Everybody need to take their hand and responsibility and um you know what I'm saying open up their eyes to the fact because all every everything and kind of, especially listening to Jesus Kodak Christ. okay my I hear what you're saying but I just remember listening to Kodak Black that's a person that glorifies that life exactly which is why I told Jay Sean to delete that shit off of his goddamn phone I'm glowing even though I'm gonna glow all of that and which is in another reason another reason which I said I'm going to speak more to my children, educate my kids more because more and more, more and more, which is getting deleted from school and life and period is history. Uh, the education system is not nothing what it needs to be in the first place and it's nothing what it used to be. African American history is totally gone, but education period is like dissipating. We like go to the library it's like totally and, and like and check out some books. It's really ridiculous. Because last, I don't know. I think I gave you my library. They're like just tomorrow. teaching. They're just teaching right now to. They're just teaching to pass tests nowadays. And I'm teaching to teach the kids to have knowledge. Like how the hell do you not even know about all the geography? No, forget, okay, not forget Africa, but you don't even know the states in the United States. Like, what? What the hell are you doing? You want to get jail or no. not? I'm, um, what you mean, I'm, I'm no? I'm my voter registration. This all made no sense. I, uh, I'm driving. I don't even want to put my car in park. Oh my god, my just if you don't want to get out because you don't feel like it, just say that. I just did. No, you said you you gave me all these other excuses, mom. I Man, I, 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 I just go get Jayla, please. I don't Jesus even like Christ. going to daycares. That's why I don't have kids. No, that ain't why you don't have kids. Go get the damn little girl, please. Get my niece, please. Because I don't want to be responsible for this kind of stuff. Oh my god. Just saying. You ain't being responsible. You just going in there to get your your, your cousin. I'm trying to take a selfie. Well, 
anyway, um, hopefully it's went ladies in this zone. battery and I ain't gonna be able to do what I need to do because I gotta go get J Jayla, whoever. Oh, wow. Damn, I didn't know it took that long. Oh, I don't even know it's cold. Me either. I'm not even an authorized picker up. Here. Neither am I. I don't want to be getting people killed. Oh, mm. I don't even like that. Mm hmm. What's the cold? I don't know. 2468. What's so up, you guys? Um, Man. Let me tell you, I just left up out of my house and um I know I said let me tell you a lot. <laughs> but I just left up out of my house and uh it was a lot of commotion going on in the house. I could hear from inside my house it was a lot of commotion going on. I come outside the house, I'm gonna put in a clip of what I seen when I come outside the house. Yes, I did turn my camera on and I try to get a little bit of it. But Oh, a lot of ruckus going on. Keys, cause I don't got time to be out here with the food. Oh, look at your eye. That's cute. Before shots get popped off. Ain't no shots getting popped off. <laughs> be quiet. Is this, can I can I can I get out, please? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, you cool. You cool. You cool. <clears throat> My mom went outside earlier, and she said it was like seven police outside. And when she went outside, she said she seen a guy running around the corner with a stick and police were chasing him around the corner. And I was like, Dad, what's going on? And uh, when I walked down there, I seen a whole bunch of people standing outside looking or whatever. And I was like, okay, let me go outside. Let me know what happened. Cause you know, I don't have patience to stand out there and watch no, you know, situation. I just don't have patience for stuff like that. But anyway, so um, as I was leaving to go, you know, come pick up my niece from VPK or whatever, I hear all this commotion going on, and I'm like, what? It's like 10 police cars, two parked behind my car, and I'm like, look, I don't even need this situation because I got situations of my own going on. all my freaking tires. You know what? I got please don't be negative. You could have just went in. I don't have, for what? So anyway, uh, like I said, it was two, two police cars behind my car, and um, the guy downstairs was out there with his, uh, I guess his baby mama, uh, no, not his baby mama, his ex-girlfriend, and just a whole bunch of people down there making loud commotion, just wilding out fussing about who got guns and who house got robbed or who trying to rob who and who ain't got time and it was just a lot of mess and a lot of wilding out and who gonna knock who out and all this stuff but the whole thing the crazy thing about it was with all this wild and commercial commotion going on just a whole bunch of men out there acting unruly and just you know the police just standing there with their hand in their pockets and i'm like this is the city police now i'm looking like they're not trying to get a lot of and a lot more police just rolling up and everybody just coming out just standing there. And they standing out there like they me. Like they're not standing out there like authoritative authoritative figures. They're standing out there like they me. Just looking with their hand in their pocket. And I had asked the police to move their car. And he was like, You can't get out of there? You don't know how to drive? I'm like, excuse me? Like real ghetto like. And I'm just like Nigga, move your goddamn car. Because, first of all, you ain't even out here doing your damn job like you need to be. Like, really? Here goes my niece. They standing out here looking like... It just don't make no sense. Instead of trying to take control of the situation, they out here spectating. They need to take names and put some people in the back seat. 
and get some control of the situation because it looked like it was about to be a riot out there. It didn't make no kind of sense. And instead of them trying to take control of the situation, they out there looking like it was, um, they was watching some goddamn uh, episode of uh, 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 Minister Society or a goddamn uh, 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 straight out of Compton. That's what the hell it looked like. I can't understand. How did they know I was getting jailed? I don't know. Because she the only light skinned girl up in there? <laughs> Just because she light skinned don't mean she related to me. Shmayla, huh? what's she, up? She came out of the classroom with these on. That's how you are. <laughs> what does this hair on your top look? Hair on my top look? No, it looks like a curl. Okay, so it's hair on my top lip. Alright, mom, let's go. What's up? I'm hungry. What? Every time you pick up kids, they always <laughs> want to get hungry. They just associate you with food. Like, you the food, auntie. <laughs> and the snacks, auntie. <laughs> um, how was school, Jay? Good. Yeah? Uh -huh. What'd you learn today? You don't have the homework? No. What's your book bag? I didn't read it. I didn't oh. read it. Daddy didn't bring it. No. Oh, did you turn in your homework last time? Mm -hmm. Did you turn in your homework? Remember last time you had homework? The letter S? No. You remember you had to do the letter S? Yes. Yeah. You didn't do it? I did. Oh. She did. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Jayla, they didn't give you lunch? What? No, they was about to put in the plate. They was about to put in the plate? Yes. Oh man, and you didn't get it. What is a first class stamp? Is that something? That's the regular stamp. It's the normal regular stamp. They dirty for that. They was like, psych, thought you had a friend. Oh, they nasty. Who? Them. Who? When they was about to give her lunch. I thought they was about to put in the plate. <laughs> so we should come late every day? So she can get lunch? <laughs> How they gonna give VPK kids lunch? Ooh. Dirt Tay. I think Ayana, your your VPK was over here, wasn't it? No. You don't even freaking know. I know this. I wanna do plus size modeling again. Mom, you've been talking about that for the past five months. I guess I need to go ahead and get you a copy of this lease and uh why? So you don't want a copy of this lease? No, I thought you was gonna tell the vlog. See, this you're showing the vlog how belligerent you are. I'm belli oh now I'm belligerent. You know what? Don't use your little big funky words on me, okay? Cause you just real nasty. How you always wanna call me this and call me that. You showing the vlog just how nasty you are to your mother. How about that? 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 Hello? Mom, can you let me type my text message? I bet that case got so many germs on it. That little piece of plastic on it. I need a new one because it doesn't even snap together no more. <laughs> that piece of plastic got Look, so much germs. Nasty and I think, on oh, it. see? Yuck. I think that for eighty dollars, cheap. I think that I can um send it back and get a new one because it's under warranty, like before um March nineteenth comes, obviously, because that's when I got it. Because this is the serial number. You hate him because I got a quality case. If it's quality, why is it jacked up? Because I've had it for a year, and I've had this one for a year. But and mine is perfect. And my oh, obviously it is. That's because you ain't. My thing that fell down the steps at least twenty times. And my phone is perfect though. Your phone blinks off 20,000 times a day. That's because it's not. That's the software. Oh, doesn't matter. Mine don't. I ain't got no problems. Okay. Why are you trying to be nasty? So let me calculate how much money.